Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again today. Of course, everybody knows the big news, Minecraft Beta 1.8 is out now. Officially out, the real patch has been released. And wow, man, so much has changed. It feels like a different game to me. It's a good thing. I really like the patch, adds a lot of cool new features. I'm not going to bother trying to say them all in this episode. I'm not very good at summarizing stuff. Uh, rather, today, I kind of want to talk about how it's going to affect the LP. And the things I like about it and stuff like that. I'm sure you already are familiar with most of the new features. You've probably seen a few dozen videos about it already. Uh, but before we get started, I'll show you the trivia game added a few new things to it. It has absolutely nothing to do with 1.8. So why not start there, hey? So I've added a, a general win and lose tune to the game. This was uh, sent to me by Craftmine1000. Thank you, dude. I got a lot of responses for different tunes I could use, so thank you, everybody. Uh, I, I used this one because it had a lot of depth to it, and it was still relatively simple. But I do really appreciate all the responses I got. It gave me a lot to choose from. And a lot of them sounded really good, actually. So thanks, everybody. Let's try it out. I think right now I have it so the left side always loses, and the right side always wins. sound. I added a delay so that thing moves over after the tune plays instead of jeering the tune. Otherwise the piston noise kind of wrecks the tune. Well, it's pretty cool. Trivia game's just about done. This is the this is the memory array. So I got glass blocks for the wrong answers, solid blocks for the right answers. You know how it works. The only thing I need to add to this yet is a score counter. So something that keeps track of the actual number of wins. And then I can use that to determine if the game is won after you've gone through all 11 questions and it will also be able to I also need something to reset the whole thing once you go through all 11 questions right now I'm just using this button to clear that stuff but anyway we don't need to talk about this too much today uh, one major thing about the new patch is the lighting It's very different uh, it's cool in ways. Some things I don't like about it, though. For example, glowstone doesn't seem to glow anymore, which is disappointing. It was one of my favorite blocks, and now it's just kind of an ugly texture. I don't know. I'm not sure if that will change. I absolutely love the dashing. I'm so glad you can do it all the time. I was worried you wouldn't be able to. And I don't know if you know this, but if you do it over ice, you can actually move at super speed, kind of. One guy sent me a video where he had a, a roof three blocks up, so... Like this all the way, and when you would jump, you'd hit your head on the roof. And he said you could get going 16 blocks per second. So twice as fast as a minecart on ice, which is crazy. Uh, if he sends me a video response, I'll hopefully approve it and you can check it out. I don't remember the link to it or anything, unfortunately. But yeah. So, lots of cool stuff added. I love dashing and stuff. I love running around with uh, this on Pro. <laughs> so much fun. And fighting mobs and stuff. Woohoo! 
feels like you're going so fast. Um, I love the brightness setting too. So at night you can make it pretty bright and you don't need to increase the contrast when video editing, which is great. But as great as the patch is and everything, as much as I like all the new features, it has created quite a problem for me. And that's what we're going to talk about now. Uh, we need to decide where this LP is going. And I really want your guys' input on something. At the moment, I'm leaning strongly towards starting a new world, a new LP world, and just putting this one aside because there's a lot of problems with the new patch and I don't think it's fixable really. Uh, first of all the new chests we'll talk about. Uh, they're cool. They play an animation when you open them. I like that. Bad news. Um, for one thing, their lighting is dark. I think I would have to replace all these. Let me try. Yeah. So if you replace it, they become proper again. Not an impossible task, but just one of many issues I have to face. Uh, the other thing is they're now smaller. They don't fill a whole block. So, for example, I can see the sand behind there, which doesn't look as good. So yeah, chests are one issue. Uh, main problems, though, are at the ice base. So I believe we should head there now. And then I'll talk about them. Here we are at the ice base. Looks a bit different now, doesn't it, with the new lighting. It's a lot more, I guess, orangish, brownish, yellowish. I don't know how you would describe it. Yeah, this is where the majority of the problems are, which is unfortunate because this is like my new area. This is where I had all the plans, and now they're kind of done away with, with the new patch. Uh, first of all, as many of you know, passive mob spawning has changed significantly. The spawning pad above does not function anymore, and I cannot get it to function anymore. I'll talk about the spawning, how it works in just a bit here. But yeah, basically, passive mob spawning is out of question now, so most of what I've built here is for nothing. Again, you can see the glowstone isn't glowing, which makes this place look kind of crummy. Uh, the chests are messed up, you can see through the cracks. They're black. I have to replace them all. Um, But the main problem now is that snowy biomes don't exist anymore. They were not included in 1.8. They were taken out of the game. Which means if I destroy this ice block here it will no longer reappear. Ever. If I destroy the snow on the ground it will no longer reappear. It no longer snows in a snowy biome. that will no longer reappear, which means my infinite source of snow, my main building material, is also gone. So yeah, that kind of sucks. This isn't a snowy biome anymore, it's just a pine forest biome with a lot of ice and snow built into it, basically. So that's a huge issue. Uh, of course, there's also the issue with the mob systems, the hostile mob system. We'll go check that out. Yeah, actually what I heard was that the snowy biomes will be re-added to the game in the 1.9 patch when it comes out, which is probably not going to be for weeks or months from now. And since this is where I've been working, I don't really want to wait for that. 
yeah. Anyway, let's let's check out the hostile mob system. So let's switch to easy. As you know, you can't see tags above mobs' heads anymore. That's that's okay. Uh, with F3, you can see your seed now. That's cool. Oh, first guy, Enderman. He stole a block already. A lot of people are wondering about the fog thing. If you need to change your fog distance, I've heard you hold F3 and then press F. Yeah. Not oh, cool, you can see them. Endermen are white when they're on low fog. That's cool, you can use it as x ray. Yeah, so hostile mob systems. It's possible to make them work still. I would have to adjust this. I don't know if there's any blocks that Endermen can spawn on or that mobs can spawn on that they won't that Endermen won't pick up. I'm not sure about that yet. I'm guessing there is at least one or two different types. So I have to change everything to whatever type that is or the other option is to lower the ceiling in there to only two high instead of three high so that Endermen won't spawn. But as it is right now, my mob systems are all broken. Endermen will take pieces away until water starts flowing down and it totally gets messed up. Same with on Chocolate Island, all those mob systems are broken, the passive one and the hostile one. I would have to spend a bit of time to fix the hostile one there as well. So just more reasons why I'm thinking of making a new world. Yeah, so this is what happens is keep ripping pieces out and it falls apart. Water starts flowing like it's not supposed to and it just stops working after time. So this next issue is a really big one and it's actually the one that made me realize that I probably should just start a new LP world. It's a severe issue. I don't think there's any way around it. As many of you know, landscape generation has changed in the 1.8 patch. Now uh, maps are generated using fractals, which allows for some pretty pretty amazing landscapes in the 1.8 worlds. But unfortunately, the 1.73 worlds and the 1.8 world generation does not work together anymore. And so this is this is the boundary of my 1.73 worlds. This is where the 1.8 begins. This is a problem all 1.73 worlds have. Uh, there's ocean biome all around the newly generated or around the old chunks. And they stretch on for miles as far as I know. Even in Ko's world he started, he made a nether portal and he went a long distance in his world and he he had the same problem. He started in an ocean biome and it seemed to just stretch on and on. There will be islands in it and stuff but I don't know if there's actually any of the other biomes beside ocean. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna go as far as I can and see if I see like a swamp biome or something. One of the new ones. Okay, I guess I was wrong about that. Uh, I went about 500 blocks and I found a pretty big continent. There's a desert. I'm in a pine forest right now. I even found a ravine. There's a tree down there. That's cool. You can see there's some cows down there. Very strange, isn't it? There's no grass. How did they get there? We'll talk about that soon. Um, yeah, so I guess there are more biomes. That's good. But even with that, I still feel I want to start a new world. Uh, let me what, let me know what you guys think about that. If, if you think it's a good idea. I think it'll be fun. It'll be quite the adventure. I thought we should go check this out, actually. Test out the new brightness setting at night here, too. Yeah, so I think it'll be fun. 
starting a new world. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I was looking around at seeds today for a, for a cool seed. I found one that was pretty neat, but if you guys know any really outstanding seeds, let me know. Also, um, I'm not really sure what to do if I do start a new world. Like, should I continue from episode 102? Like, should that be the first episode in the new world? Or should I just start... Give it a new name and stuff like DotDam did with his new world tour. Uh, let me know about that. In these new areas, strongholds won't generate. Uh, I'm pretty sure villages don't generate. And I'm not sure, but I'm guessing the abandoned mine shafts might not generate either. I was kind of hoping to see one down here, but I didn't find one. The only way to make that happen is if you edit the world file and change one of the values. But yeah, this lighting, this new lighting is pretty cool. Okay, so I did find an abandoned mine shaft after all. I just they do generate. Very cool. Uh, I probably won't explore this on camera though because I did not bring torches and I'm on peaceful right now, which would be pretty lame. I didn't bring equipment. I find a lot of the times these things just catch on fire because there's always lava around and all the wood burns. Ah. Where's my sword? Gotta find a chest. Where's the chest? Ah, oh, there is none. Okay, anyway. Uh, I should probably mention about the new passive mob spawning because I have a lot of people asking me about that. So let's head back to the ice base. I do have a world backup, by the way. I have restored it probably about 20 times today. I had a, a lot of trouble getting the 1.8 working today. My game got corrupted somehow and levels weren't generating properly. I couldn't log in to the Minecraft server. It's a huge, huge, huge issue to get it working. Okay. Okay, so uh, passive mob spawning is completely different now. Uh, it's no longer just if mobs are 24 blocks away from you and within the 144 boundary type thing anymore, where they would only spawn on grass. Uh, now, they seem to only spawn as you're moving around, so when a chunk loads or something, it seems to randomly decide if it's going to place the passive mobs and they spawn on other stuff besides grass now as well you saw in that ravine we had some cows it's because they can spawn on stone now uh, I'm pretty sure they can spawn on logs like uh, wood uh, soil grass probably quite a few other blocks I'm sure there's a few types they don't like uh, half slabs, water, that stuff's probably th the same where they can't spawn on it. There's also some other conditions, like they will not spawn in certain biomes, from what I've under from what I understand and from what I've seen. I talked to a guy named the Sprue today, and he said they will not spawn in ocean or desert biomes, even if you have grass in them. If you place grass in the desert biome, you won't get any passive mobs. And I agree with that. That's what I've seen as well. 
Uh, yeah, today I saw a pig spawn on top of a tree, like the very top wood block in a tree is where he spawned inside of a leaf block, which was very weird, and he was like stuck there. Uh, the sprue also sent me some pictures showing pigs on top of a, a roof in one of the buildings of a village. There's no way they could have got up there unless they spawned and it was like a cobblestone roof, if I remember right. So yeah, I don't know how lighting affects spawning. Not sure if it has any effect. I'm guessing it doesn't. But yet you don't see any animals in cave systems. And the way I believe that works is they only will be placed on the highest block in a location. So they could be placed here, but they probably won't get placed down here, assuming this was a soil block, because there's a block above. And I believe that's how they prevent them from spawning inside of houses and s excuse me and prevent them from spawning inside of houses as well tongue twister just my theory I don't know for sure how it works but that's what I've observed alright guys anyway I'll probably end the episode here today thank you for watching as usual uh, this may be the last episode in this world I'm not sure We'll see. Please give me your feedback about that. If you have any suggestions. Uh, if I do start a new world, do you have any very epic seeds I could use? I found one really good one on the forums today, which I'm planning on using. But if I find a better one, I'll use that instead. Now oh, those Endermen are up to no good. And if you have any suggestions on the format I should do, if I start a new world, let me know. I'm thinking I'll probably just show everything at first and slowly start showing you less and less resource gathering, that kind of thing, as it, as I get established. Kind of like I did this one. Go back to basics. And then as I get established, we'll get back to the complex builds and stuff. Should be good. I think it'll be fun if I do. Lots of fun. Anyway, take care. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.